It's early in the morning and Mayrin Gonzalez is hoping today she will be able to keep the doors of her hair salon open. Now, two months into near daily anti-government protest, Mayrin often closes her shop midday to make sure employees and customers are somewhere else if police confront the protesters with rubber bullets and tear gas. As the protests continue, it makes things difficult, not only for me, but for my employees. Because from this hair salon, we get the money we need to survive. And if we close, we'll be left with nothing. Myreen opened the salon eight years ago. She says her regular customers started cutting back on their appointments months ago, even before the opposition's regular marches through the neighborhood began. The economic crisis had already hit me way before the protests started. Most people choose buying food over going to a hair salon. Water and power are a problem. And I've also been struggling to find the products I need, like shampoos and dyes. Venezuela is a country known for its success in international beauty pageants. And for many women here, regular salon visits have been a way of life. But Venezuela is now also known as the country with the highest rate of inflation in the world. Due to the situation in the country, I come here when I can, but most of my money is for food, so I can rarely come here. Manicurist Veronica Santa Maria says most people who work in the salon have seen their incomes reduced by about 50 percent in the last three years. I work here every day. The customers barely come, and sometimes I sacrifice my work to protest against this dictatorship, which is destroying our country. As the political unrest in Venezuela continues to escalate, the unrest itself is affecting the economy, with hundreds of thousands of people across the country either joining the marches or choosing to stay home out of harm's way. According to the government, Venezuela's businesses have lost more than $100 million since the protests began, losses which trickle down from entrepreneurs to employees, affecting hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans. Juan Carlos Lamas, CGT in Caracas.